of taking it out. But this could be useful one if you're not confident and you're a bit afraid of the old battery repair, you know, as a lot of people are, and I don't I do not judge you for that. I am a bit crazy, so I don't expect you to be crazy as well. So we start at the plus terminal, go to the next one. That's 3.6, that's a good chargeable voltage. So that front bank of cells are good. And the next bank of cells are good. This would tell me that we're going to have two in the end, maybe, that are bad. Next two are bad. Yep. The next two are bad. That's the middle bank. It's bad. And there's... Uh, and what do we see? We'll take it out and show you. It might be clear if I remove it. You can see the banks of cells there. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll go down them again just to show you from plus to minus. That one's good. 3.6. That one's good. 3.6. That one's bad. That's showing a negative voltage. That's what's pulling down the voltage of the pack. That one's good. And that one is also good. We need two cells in the middle. So it's the two middle cells there. That have to be removed and replaced. And we can fix that pack that way. Throw it back together again. And document what's wrong with it. Two middle cells. I noticed that four banks measuring 3.6 didn't add up to 13.8. It adds up to more than that. But because the middle bank was actually failed and was showing a minus voltage, I was actually pulling down the voltage of the whole pack. So that's how that works. So moving on to number three. Number three. Again, the light test. We've got one flashing light. That's the first one with a flashing light. And the voltage check. The voltage check shows 14.9 volts. This could be one of two things again. It could be that the whole pack has fell below chargeable voltage over time. Because it needs to be about 17, 17 and a half for the charger to recognise it. And won't charge. Or we could have a couple of failed cells again. Again, get the screws out. 